Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, <laughs> hello, welcome. We're hello. talking live to all of the Marvel fans. Jessica Chastain, how are you this evening? I'm good. I'm good. I'm really excited to be here. This is a quite the deal. It is quite a deal. Well, you yeah. entered the Marvel Universe. What was it like for you when you first got to audition for this role or take this role to know that you were entering part of Marvel history? It was amazing. They've been working on the movies for almost 20 years. Um, definitely felt like a family. I was. I felt like I was a guest invited to dinner. I was a guest in their home, so don't show up and move all the furniture around. <laughs> Home's working great, so I literally just showed up and like asked, you know, what can I bring as an appetizer? How can I help serve the story? It was great. Sounds delicious and delightful. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the great things about Marvel is we have the women of Marvel, the, the incredible female characters, whether they're the heroes or maybe sometimes on the other side of things. How much fun is it for you to see that portrayed on screen with our characters? It's fantastic. The one of the best comic books in the whole series. Great. So now this, this film is fully focused on it. I think the last time they did the Dark Fury line, it was a secondary storyline. I mean, it really wasn't even that prominent, which I think does the fans a disservice. So I'm really happy to, to be a part of this film and put you front and center and, uh, you know, have all these uh, incredible women kicking butt. Yeah. From fans. Okay. One real quick, uh, Aishan asks, which would you like to have a buddy movie with? Ooh. Ooh. I like Wolverine. Who yeah. doesn't? He's a good one. We'll, we'll keep our eyes out for that. But thank you so much for speaking with us. You are the bell of the ball, so have a great thank time. You so much. Enjoy. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Yeah, what? Uh, yeah, that was just my line. Whenever oh, I come oh, out, oh, okay. smoke. That's okay. my line. Right, yeah, okay. so. Oh, whew. I yeah. thought I was in trouble just for a minute. Yeah, no. Uh, now you have some big swashbuckling scenes ahead of you. Well, ahead of us because we haven't seen it, but you've already shot them. What was it like getting in on some of the action? Oh, it was so much fun. I mean, such an incredible group of people who made this movie and the stunt guys, the visual effects, and everything. I mean, it's so much bigger than the last one and I was a big fan of the last one so then they asked me to, to do this one and told me what Mysterio was up to I was so in so in well I'm in too all right yes. <laughs> you are an actor that is known for going through physical transformations for roles what did you go through in order to prepare for this one well I mean in truth the biggest thing for me was the suit you know like as soon as I put on the suit I was pretty much transformed I mean I loved it so I was a little worried about the fishbowl helmet yeah um, you, did you get to, you didn't really get to rock that though did you I didn't rock it in, in live no I didn't well thankfully yeah there, it's hard to breathe I assume I was carrying a lot of other contraptions on my body that you see and don't see so yeah okay. so that was enough but um it was really you know for me getting it I had to get in shape just to wear the suit you know it has this huge chest plate and it's has a 40 pound cape you know so you're carrying that around all day. <laughs> yeah you know a light flowy cape yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know that you like to rock a hairstyle for a role. I've noticed that about you. Um, but and Quentin Beck in the comics has like the bangs. Did you fight for bangs? I tried. I lost that battle. I lost that battle. I reserved that. I did that in the last movie before this one. In another movie I did, so I couldn't double bang it. You know? Yeah. No, 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 that's no, fair. Never yeah. double bang it. You never. understand how? No. Yeah. Well, not never, but yeah. 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 Oh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens in the film. I'm going to hold out hope. Fingers crossed. Yeah, for me. I know they're really short bangs, too, in the comics. <laughs> yes. It has, like, really short bangs. They are fairly silly, and I love it. Um, but you also got to get silly with Tom Holland. I love your dynamic on screen. What was it like working together? I mean, I mean, it's, he's great. Uh, there's not, he's, he's about to show up right now. You're going to hear how everybody else, I feel about him the same way they're about to feel. Yeah, here we go. When are you I, I did. I feel like screaming when I see him. Just yeah. go ahead. Just Every go time ahead. I see okay. him. No, I mean, he's just, he's a con, he's a consummate professional. He, I think we share some similarities in that we both started acting very young. And I love his commitment to his craft outside of him being the best Spider-Man around um, to put on that costume. He's a physical actor. He is humble. Uh, he is deferential to those who are a little bit older than him in a way that you would never expect from somebody who is in his position, who has the power that he has. And I just adore him. I think he's great. That's yeah. so sweet. Yeah. What was it like for you to find out you were going to be part of the Marvel Universe? I mean, it was pretty incredible. You know, you have, when you see the movie, you'll understand, but I think there's a lot of things about this character that particularly to, to join the Marvel Universe in this way um, was really cool. 
and was really befitting to me. So it's an honor to just be in it, but to be able to play this character, um, to work with these people and create a carry that was unique, different than other characters I've seen in the universe before, was pretty cool. You know, he really did, and you do, and we can't wait to see it. We'd love to keep you all night, but unfortunately... Tom Holland's coming. But Tom, Tom Holland's coming, coming, and you have to party all night, so enjoy yes. and congrats. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy. Cheers. Oh my gosh, what fun. I Training that you had to do, and you know, definitely the most physical role that you've done yeah. yet. What was that training like? You know, I was training like six, seven hours a day for months, um, getting ready for the fight scene that we shot at the very end of the movie. And uh, it was um, it was intense. I had no I had no idea that I could push myself physically like that. But it was you know martial arts, sword training, wire work, stunt work. It was um, it was all of it. And uh, and it was just because I wanted the fans to be able to see a. a What's it like for you? I mean, this is a thought provoking, heavy show. How did you leave it at work, if at all? Yeah, no, yeah, I had to figure out how to do that. Yeah, because I didn't want to take it home. Yeah. So no, I just, I just kind of like, thankfully it was like, we was a good crew out there in Calgary and this yeah. cast is, is such good fun and, you know, we had a great time together. I think we just tried to have as much fun when yeah. we weren't on set as possible, really. And even on set, you know, it's, I think that that's what has to happen when you make something that's so heavy and dark is that you have to really find the lightness in any way, like gallows humor in any way you kind of can, yeah. So how do you recommend? Do people need a glass of wine to watch ah. it? Some stress snacks? Ah. <laughs> you know what, you know what's cool is it, it's, it's... I mean, cool is the wrong word, but it is a thriller. Yeah. It is a it is a, a true crime thriller that is dealing with some pretty dark and heavy themes. But like, there's, it's thrilling, you know. So I so I think it's I think it's enough to just kind of like go along for the ride. And and, and yeah, you know, if you if you want to have a glass of wine, I'm not going to say you shouldn't. But whatever you want to do, whatever your poison. And I love, you know, when you get to do the thing that you love, oh my gosh, come on up, come on up. You're, you're the belle of the ball, so you can come up as much as you want. Oh, thanks. Hello, Sophie Turner in the house. Hi. We, we have been waiting for you. This is the moment. The phoenix has risen. The phoenix has risen. Oh, uh, you got to do so many kick-ass things in this film. Oh, uh, what did you do when you found out you got to be the phoenix? What did I do? I think I cried. Um, I don't know. I think I started to work out and then I realized that she was telekinetic and I was like, I can't swear on, we're live, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. So live. So I, I yeah, I just did, decided not to work out and cried a lot. It was great and at my feelings. Yeah. You and now here we are. Yay. Yeah. But it works. That's the most important part is how she feels. Exactly. We have uh, we have some questions that came in from the fans, some okay. burning questions. Okay. This, burning yeah, questions. Yeah. Uh, so this one from Gabby, she asks, which do you prefer, Jean Grey or the Dark Phoenix? Oof. I like Jean. She's tortured. And it's not like they're two in entirely separate entities. Uh, they're within one body and they're struggling. They're, they're fighting with each other. And so I, I like Jean. She's conflicted and interesting. I like her. Well, and you do such a beautiful job of playing her. Oh. Did, they, did you know that this was going to be the arc? No, no. No, because no, I, I, I don't know. I just figured, you know, they've done the dark line before. I thought they're never going to do this again. Obviously, even though uh, Tars went back and rewrote history, but I never thought that I would get the opportunity to. So I'm so excited that I got to do it. Yeah. Well, and you get to really, really get in on the action. I mean, you're flying a lot. Yeah. What does it feel like? Because I feel like it's painful. <laughs> oh, no. Harness. Harness harnesses. I mean, so the great thing is, is before they had harnesses that would just go like around, yeah, like a lap situation. Uh, yeah, like they would go right around and it would pinch. And so now they've got a cross, a crossing situation. How appropriate. So protects the cookie, <laughs> but it's still painful nonetheless. Well, you make it look super badass. Well, thanks. <laughs> uh, part of this legacy, these characters that mean so much to millions and millions of people around the world. Oh, it's amazing to know that, you know, you're stepping into something where there is such a loyal and dedicated fan base. And, and it, you know, it's not just of the movies, it's of the comics. It's decades and decades. It's like generations of people have loved the comics. And so, you know, it's people's lives. And, and I, I definitely don't take that lightly. I think it's something that's meant something to so many people for so long. And it certainly has meant a lot to me for a really long time. Um, you know, when I was growing up, all I knew about them, they were kind of ostracized and um, they were ashamed of these things that made them different. But when they kind of, you know, harnessed those things that made them different, it made them quite powerful and special. And 
that's just something that I think is such a wonderful message for every young girl and boy to kind of grow up hearing. We'll keep you here all night, but you have to talk to so many people, so go spread the word. It is I fun. will. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Have fun. Cheers. Enjoy. Bye. I, I feel like we're just hanging out with the star of the film. Okay. First you were homecoming, now you're far from home. What was it like coming back the second time? You know, it was amazing. It was really like going on a summer break. Like the first film felt like our first year of school, then we went on a summer break, and then when we came back, it felt like we were picking up right where we left off. You know, these the guys I work with in these films, they're my best friends in life, on screen and off screen, so I'm so lucky to get to work with them. And, uh, you know, making a film that you can be this proud of is kind of hard to come by, and I'm just so lucky that I get to do it again. What was it like making the film as... You know, it was emotional. It was really emotional. <laughs> they, people like you, I think. They're shouting I, your I think name. you have fans. You're so sweet. <laughs> it was really emotional, you know. I've only ever made a movie with Rob. He's a great friend of mine, and, you know, I was FaceTiming him last night, and he wished me the best of luck, and, and, you know, we'll miss him, but he'll never be forgotten. I heard a rumor, and I don't know if it's true, so I need you to tell me. Does he have a special name in your phone? He's, he's uh, the godfather in my phone. <laughs> yeah. He's like RDJ the godfather. Yeah, that's what I have him as. All right. Okay, confirmed. That is true. Okay. Yes, it is, yeah. <laughs> so, the film is called Far From Home. Right. But you shot a lot of it at home. I did, Did you yes. just stay at home or did you stay in the hotel? No, I actually rented a house with all my buddies. Um, and we live really close to the studio, which was really nice. Um, but it's funny, the first film was called Spy uh, Homecoming. I shot it thousands of miles away from my home. This film's called Spy From Home, and I shot it 20 minutes from my parents' house. <laughs> so the names don't add up, but, uh, but it's great to be here tonight. So Tom Holland Homecoming. Yes. <laughs> Tom Holland Far From Home. That's true. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Yeah. Um, you also got to work with Jake Gyllenhaal in this film. I love your dynamic on screen. What was it like? It was honestly a dream come true. You know, he's someone who I've looked up to for so long and I've been such a huge fan of his and it's really hard to name a bad Jake Gyllenhaal film. Like, it's not easy. So the chance for me to be 23 and to be able to work with him was a dream come true. And, you know, sometimes in the industry, meeting your heroes can be really scary. And meeting Jake was a dream and amazing. And I love him a bit. And uh, we're actually wearing the same shoes tonight. Plant. Did you, were you like, are you wearing your shoes? I'm wearing mine. No, it was a total accident. And uh, I'm really worried because Jake's definitely going to wear them better than I do. I, yeah. We'll have a shoe off later. Does that sound Thanks fair? Thanks for the close up on my shoes, by the way. There you go. I really appreciate that. Well, he Big didn't get the close up, up of his shoes. So, as far as we know, you own them. Yeah. You wore it best. Yeah. Heard it here. Well, we would love to keep you all night, but you are literally the star of the show. Say hello to everyone, but thanks for having me. Thanks to everyone at home watching. I love you all so much and enjoy from home. It's all for you guys. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you.